Okay. You read that right. Akila Hughes has lost the lawsuit and lost hard. Now, I'm going to go through this. So forgive me if this is a little long in legalese. And I'm not a fucking lawyer, as you can obviously tell. But she has lost. I'm going to start at uh, three, discussion. Because uh, the, the first two just kind of give a preamble to where we are. In 2016, Akila Hughes made a video uh, about, you know, basically her utter despair that Hillary Clinton did not become the president. Sargon of Akkad, Carl Benjamin, decided to make a parody video of it, using cutting up her video. She then sued him in 2017. I'm going to uh, if this video doesn't get too long, I may show that to show how that it didn't age well. While this case is going on, now normally when people are suing each other, both sides shut the fuck up. In fact, your lawyer will tell you, shut the fuck up. She didn't. She was on Twitter, running her mouth, saying how she was going to bankrupt him and blah 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 and donate it to... Black women's causes. And then she lost the first one. And then there was this, the attorney's fee. And she lost... Well, she kept running her mouth. And now she's lost that. So basically, uh, objective unreasonableness, which should be given substantial weight when determining whether to award fees is generally used to describe claims that have no... By the way, I would like to point out, Akila's first legal team, they left. They quit. The judge in this case told Akila, you're going to lose. This is clear-cut fair use. She got a new lawyer and kept pressing, and she lost. This whole thing could have been avoided. Um... Anyway, um... Uh, citing a case. Um, notably, however, a position is not unreasonable merely because it is weak. Uh, in addition, through the finding that a plaintiff advanced an objectively unreasonable claim, that can be sufficient grounds on which to award fees. To the prevailing defendant, the Supreme Court has made clear that such a finding does not automatically trigger an award. As a result, in any given case, a court may award fees even though the losing party offered reasonable arguments. Here, Hughes' claims were objectively unreasonable, a fact that was clear from the face of the complaint and the videos at the heart of the dispute. Um, tellingly, the complainant describes Benjamin videos as an effort to mock and discredit Hughes, two strong indicators the work constituted fair use criticism. Uh, court noted in its opinion, it is clear from the face of Hughes, Benjamin's copied portions of We Thought She Would Win for transparative purposes of criticism and commentary. The court had blah, blah, blah. Uh, then there goes into improper motivation. Benjamin argues that Hughes brought this suits to silent her political opponents and critics to generate publicity for herself. Motivations like all of the Fogarty factors. I have no idea what the hell Fogarty factors are, so please don't ask. Is not dispositive, but the presence of improper motivation in bringing a lawsuit or bad faith conduct weighs heavily in favor of an award of costs and fees. Uh, ha here, the court has little difficulty concluding that Hughes' dual goals in bringing her baseless suit were, were to inflict financial harm on Benjamin and raise her own profile in the proper, or in the process, excuse me. Uh, if she had shut, you see, this is why we have probably not heard anything from Dr. Disrespect or Twitch regarding their dispute, because I guarantee you both sides have lawyered up. And when you lawyer up, they tell you, the first thing they tell you to do is shut the fuck up. Do not say a fucking word on the case. Uh, improper or bad faith motivations are generally difficult to discern, as litigants often have a variety of objectives and may obscure their basis ones on veil legitimate sounding claims. In this case, Hughes openly discussed her improper motivations on both Twitter and her website. That's probably what sunk her. She intended to bankrupt Benjamin. We already know this. Of course, evidence and respectful content, 
conduct and efforts to efficiently and inexpensively resolve the diffuse can sometimes neutralize evidence of improper motive and bad faith. While it is true that Hughes did make a settlement offer, the offer hardly constituted a reasonable effort to efficiently resolve the dispute. Basically, if she would have just took the judge's warning of you're probably this this 99% of this is it constitutes fair use is uh just um yeah, maybe you should have just said fine, fuck it. I'm dropping the case. Um, Hughes's loan offer was for 46 grand. By then, the court had already laid bare the weakness of her claim during the party's pre-motion conference. At this point, she could have just gotten away with just giving the attorney some money, and she could have went on and lived her life. Um... So, compensation and deterrence to equitable consideration, the courts must assess for the dual purpose of incentivizing parties with strong cases to litigate them and deterring parties with weak claims from embarking on wasteful litigation. She made the claim, yeah, she brought up his GoFundMe, raised up, no, her lawyer made that stupid mistake. This is why you never hire a feminist attorney. The GoFundMe raised over 120 grand much more than the approximate 40000 he expected to defend the case. But that fact alone does not preclude an award of attorney's fees. Indeed, the courts frequently allow, allow recovery, even when the prevailing party did not actually suffer any financial harm. I don't know. Does this mean Sargon has to give the money back or what? Eh, whatever. That's GoFundMe and him. Uh, as in the cases where a third party provided and paid for the, okay, other cases... Anyway, um, put simply, a litigant's good luck in having the financial wherewithal to defend against a frivolous suit, whether because of insurance, a GoFundMe campaign, rich uncle, pro bono lawyer, does not act automatically immunize the losing party from the consequences of her actions. And compensation aside, the court must also consider deterrence. Uh, Benjamin may not be out of pocket any money, uh, awarding fees will still further the important goal of deterring Hughes and other would-be litigants of engaging in similarly abusive conduct in the future. By the way, this strikes at the very heart of what's going to cause YouTube to have to back down as both acting as a half-assed publisher, and they're just going to have to be like, look, we're just the platform, you're going to have to settle this in the courts. This is probably the biggest news for YouTube in the in, going forward because they can cite this case as precedent. Um, from engaging in similarly abusive conduct in the future, an outcome that is tightly aligned with the Copyrights Act goal of uh, facilitating the public's access to creative work. Indeed, Hughes does not owe Benjamin any damages. A fee award is the only financial consequence that the court may impose upon Hughes to deter this conduct going forward. Her self-serving claim that the public backlash she received from losing the suit is sufficient deterrence is not persuasive since Hughes herself has played an integral role in publicizing the litigation. Again, she might have got out of having to pay attorney's fees if she just shut the fuck up. Up. Um, Hughes, uh, and basically she says that she will sh suffer extreme financial hardship. God, I wish I could feel sorry for her. But to get out of it, she can just simply file for bankruptcy. That'll do it. Anyway, um, in short, Hughes has endeavored to profit from a unreasonable and frivolous suit promoting her online profile, uh, blah, 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 uh, uh, forcing Benjamin to wastefully devote time and resources defending the accusation. Okay, reasonableness of attorney's fees. Having, attorney, having determined the award of a fee, fees appropriate, courts must still assess whether the fees sought 
are reasonable, and they talk about the irreasonable, and I'm not going to read all that. Let's just get skip to the fucking end. Conclusion. In light of the findings set forth above, the court agrees that full fees and costs should be awarded. It is hereby ordered that Benjamin's motions for attorney's fee is granted and he is awarded $38,785.35 in fees. He is also awarded $126.54 in costs. The clerk of court is respectfully directed to terminate the motions pending at documents number 41 and 50. I have no idea. Sign Richard Sullivan, uh, United States, whatever the fuck. So she lost and lost hard. I should check her pro. Hold on. I, I, I'm just going to quickly pull up her Twitter thing. Uh, let's see. Key, Keela Hughes. Is, did she say anything? Oh my God. She's not going down without a fight. Oh my God. She's still fighting this. Anyone here has a contact at GoFundMe where he raised 120 for the lawsuit and PayPal where he continues to make money? My lawyer would appreciate it. This is what we have to deal with when social networks don't enforce their actual policies. I'm not going to be online much today as I have a call with a new lawyer. You're going to lose! Do you have any idea how rare it is for them to reverse a decision? Uh, and so when I, okay, where did she start this? She's writing a fucking novel on this. Okay, I may just do this in a live stream. Okay, I, I don't want to make this video too long. Oh my god, I am, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, you're, no, the reason is YouTube is just the platform. And right now they're under ungodly pressure to be just that. And you lost, you lost 38 grand. And she is pissed off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a live stream, um, uh, on this because this video is 13 minutes long. I'm trying to make my videos shorter. So, uh, yeah, um, I still can't write on Twitter for another six days because I dared say something about the Queen Ellen, and uh, yeah. Sorry, bitch, you lost. You were told you were going to lose. <laughs> you told you were going to lose. You should have just... Honestly, what you should have done is just taken the joke and then just made a joke about Carl. You could have done that. You could have sliced up Sargon's videos, except he wouldn't have done anything. Anyway, that wraps up this one.